What's going on Cruising Nation? Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing because today's video is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, and if you are new to cruising, you definitely are going to want to watch this whole video. But many of the veteran cruisers out there, um, you probably already know this trick. And so what exactly I'm talking about is how to save hundreds of dollars on your next carnival cruise. Yes, I said it, over a hundred dollars in savings. And not just a hundred, but several hundreds of dollars. I know you guys have seen several videos out there about how to save a dollar or two dollars or ten dollars on carnival cruises. But this video is not going to be going over all these little details that you have to do to save a few bucks here and there. This video is going to be your one-stop shop to saving hundreds of dollars on your next cruise. So if you're interested in knowing that one tip that I'm going to be giving you guys, stick around because that's coming up next. So guys, before I get right into this video, I want to give you guys a little bit of comfort in knowing that I have been on 11 carnival cruises. That's right, not just 5, not 2, not 10, but 11 carnival cruises. And I know there's a lot of you out there that have been on many more than me. Um, for example, my parents, they've been on over 20 carnival cruises. Um, so combined, we have a lot of experience under our belts. And for me personally, I think over 11 carnival cruises is a lot of cruising, especially for someone my age. I'm only 26 years old um, and I owe it all to my parents starting me on this cruising addiction, you could say. But I'm so grateful for them and for working hard and for allowing us, me and my brothers and sisters, being able to go on several carnival cruises as a family vacation. Um, it's been a really great time. Now, if you are a first-time cruiser, welcome to Carnival, welcome to cruising, and welcome to the start of your new addiction. Um, and if you're not new to cruising, just welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you guys consider subscribing. But the reason you guys are all here today is because you want to know how to save hundreds of dollars on Carnival cruises. And so that one tip that I wanted to talk to you guys all about it's called Allstate Rewards. Now you're probably asking yourself, isn't Allstate a car insurance company? And while they are a car insurance company, they do have a reward site. And on this reward site, you can actually purchase Carnival Cruise gift cards at a discounted rate. And so another question you're probably asking is, do I need to have Allstate in order to take advantage of their rewards? And the answer to that question is no. If you do not have Allstate insurance, do not worry because it doesn't matter. Um, all you're going to be doing is using their reward site. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it right here in a second. Um, but before we get into that, the only thing that Allstate asks that you do is download their DriveWise app. And basically what Allstate does with this app is it gives them access to your driving trends. So Allstate's going to be able to monitor how you're driving in the city, on the freeway, how hard you're braking, how fast you're going, um, and just a lot of little details like that. And so by giving them access to your driving trends, they're gonna offer you in return a 10% discount on a lot of different products on their reward site. And one of those products is actually Carnival gift cards. And so from here on out, anytime you go on a Carnival cruise, you should be getting at least 10% off every single cruise. And so from here on out, let me give you guys a quick example of what you're going to do. So let's just say your, your cruise is $1,000, just to make the numbers easier um, for everybody to understand and for me to even calculate. <laughs> so your cruise is $1,000. So you're gonna go on Allstate Rewards' website and you're gonna purchase $1,000 worth of gift cards, worth of Carnival gift cards. But when you check out, these gift cards are 10% off, so you're going to only pay $900 for $1,000 worth of gift cards. So you're going to automatically save $100. 
And let's be real here. Um, most cruises are not going to cost only a thousand dollars. Most people are going to pay a little bit more than a thousand, possibly two or three thousand dollars, just depending on the length of your cruise and which type of cabin you plan on staying in. But either way, 10% is 10%. And I've been cruising for a very long time, or maybe I shouldn't say a long time, but I've gone on many cruises and I'm always looking for ways to save on cruises. And it's very difficult to find um, ways to save, especially trying to save 10%. And so after searching a long time um, and looking at several Facebook groups and collaborating with a lot of different people, um, we finally found um, this loophole um, and all state rewards is where it's at guys. 10% um, is a lot of money. Um, it's a lot of cash in your pocket. It's a lot of money that you can put towards excursions or use at the casino or just save in general. And just a quick side note guys, I think AARP used to do the carnival gift cards. I think they're still planning on doing them, but they're having some issues um, because they switched to um, e-gift cards where they just email you the gift card instead of sending you an actual card. So they're having issues with that problem. I don't know if it's ever gonna be fixed or if they're gonna stop the whole Carnival gift card entirely. Um, but I do know that Allstate Rewards has the gift cards. You don't have to be a member of Allstate um, and you will always get the 10% discount. Um, so with that being said, guys, let me show you guys my screen and I'm gonna show you guys how to sign up if you don't have Allstate and if you do have Allstate. So first things first, guys, go to the DriveWise from Allstate website. So in the search bar, just type in DriveWise from Allstate. And I already have it pulled up here. So DriveWise, this is the page it should look like. You're going to scroll all the way down. Well, not all the way, but you're going to find this video. It's just below it. And you can see there's a part for customers and non-customers. So if you have Allstate, go ahead and proceed with the customers portion. The instructions are right here. One, two, three, and four. For most of you, um, you guys are probably not customers, so click on the non-customers tab, and it's gonna actually walk you through how to create an account. And so I imagine it's just gonna ask you for like a username and password. It's gonna ask you to download the DriveWise app, which is actually essential. You must do that in order to earn rewards and points with Allstate. Um, so go ahead and download the app as well. And then once you guys have an account, you're just going to simply log in. So I'm going to log into mine really quick. And so once you're in, your uh, page will look like this. It'll have your name. My name's Michael. Um, and then you're going to scroll down here to unlock savings with Allstate Rewards. You'll click on it. And it's going to take you to the rewards page. So Allstate Rewards. And so, as you can see, I have 46,000 points. Um, and I can use those points towards travel, um, gift cards, um, pretty much anything that Allstate has to offer. But we're going to use them to purchase a gift card. And we're going to purchase a Carnival Cruise gift card. And as you can see, the gift cards are 10% off. So this $100 gift card is only going to cost me $90. Um, and I'm able to do that because of the points that you earn with DriveWise. So as you can see here, this $500 Carnival gift card is only going to be $450, but it's also going to be 5,000 points, which are deducted from up here. So everybody will have a different amount of points. I have 46,000. So I will have to pay Allstate $450 and 5,000 points. But that is still a 10% savings, guys. Um, I've been searching for a long time on where to find discounts on Carnival and on several different cruise lines. Um, I personally like Carnival the best. And it's really hard to find discounts and I honestly believe that there really isn't anywhere else except Allstate Rewards and AARP. And so essentially what you guys are going to do 
is you're going to buy enough gift cards to cover the cost of your cruise so that when it's all said and done, when you purchase your cruise, you're going to save 10% on that entire cruise by using these gift cards. And keep in mind, guys, that these gift cards can be used for onboard purchases, for your gratuities. Um, there's always a huge bill after your cruise, if you didn't know, for like tips um, and things you purchase on the cruise. So you can use Carnival gift cards for that as well. So your entire cruise will be 10% off. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed that tutorial. I know it can be a little bit difficult at times to find good deals and discounts on cruises, but this is one deal that will never go away. You can always save 10% on every Carnival cruise. And then those gift cards can actually be used for onboard credit. You can use them to purchase excursions. So your entire cruise, guys, should be 10% off. Not just the initial booking, but everything. Because you can apply the, those gift cards to your onboard credit and use it for drink packages or excursions or anything you purchase on the cruise. Um, and I did say drink packages. But honestly, you should purchase the drink packages before your cruise because you will end up saving 20% on the drink packages because you'll get 10% off of the Carnival gift card and then you'll use that gift card to purchase the drink package, which is generally 10% off if you book it before the cruise. So that will ultimately be 20% off. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are probably cheering because... <laughs> That's probably why you're going on a cruise. Um, so I hope all you guys have a great cruise, have a good time. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with more cruise content um, very soon. Um, and then just let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to make a particular video. Um, but I'm glad you guys all stayed till the end and I will see you guys in the next video.